Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a home of accurateness and current news for those who subscribe. We want to say a big thank you to every one of you. We say God bless you. And if you're yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below. And now the news in details. Southwest Group demands autonomy of Yoruba Nation. A group, Odua Action Movement, has called for an autonomous state of Yoruba land, urging the United Nations, United States, African Union, European Union, the group of seven and other international institutions to come to the rescue. The group in a statement signed by its coordinator, Demola Edward, noted that the Yoruba nation as an ethnic of over 40 million people should be able to manage its resources. Edward urged President Muhammad Buhari to begin the process for an autonomous Yoruba nation as a federating unit in Nigeria. As granted the Southwest region upon independence in 1960, it said as citizens in diaspora, having watched the trend of events in Nigeria from the sidelines over the years and especially the current spate of insecurity of lives and properties, and the continued degeneration of the country, we have unequivocally concluded that the country with its present structure is in a state of irredeemable rot. Nigeria is now in the infamous leech of failed nations. From the foregoing, it is obvious that the present unitary structure of Nigeria has significantly inhibited the country's growth and prospects. We demand an autonomous state for Yoruba land. The Yoruba people claimed and demand our right to self-determination, our right to autonomously govern our region and manage our resources and own our destiny. Who do our action movement on behalf of Yoruba Worldwide is relentlessly committed to this cause. We are prepared to use all legal and peaceful means within the confines of international laws and norms to actualize an autonomous nation for Yoruba people within Nigeria. Wow. Guys, what is your own take about this news? What is your own opinion? Because uh, I believe the whole drug action movement as they are actually saying the truth. But the thing is that it's a big pain that Yoruba nations have allowed many destinies and lives to lost. Before they wake up, they've allowed a lot of things to happen in Yoruba land. A lot of things that are, has been happening. They've given Awusas, the Fulani's chances to even defeat them. And now it's like they are waking up. It's like, like the Yorubas are coming back to their senses. You know, I believe it's not too late. It's not too late. I believe they can do still do something about it. And uh, obviously, if you can see, you can see that they are actually indirectly talking about freedom here. It is this same part of this same freedom that everybody needs in Nigeria, including Biafras, including Yorubas and all that. We all need that freedom right now because a lot of things is happening in, in Nigeria right now. You know, all this blood sucking full of eggs. People killing innocent people everywhere. And a lot of people are tired of all this evil atrocities that are going on in Nigeria right now. Nigeria can't ever work no matter how hard we try. You know, Nigeria is, even if, even if we keep trying, our leaders are not helping matters at all. They are not helping matters at all. They are making it worse and worse every, every day, you know. And that's just the bad thing about it. That's just it. You know, when Igbos were campaigning against, against Buhari in 2015, it was this same Yoruba called us all sorts of names. And that is true. Remember during 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 Buhari's time, you know, yeah, Yoruba people were just saying all that and all that against the Igbos. And this is it now. We Yorubas are coming out and saying that we need this freedom. So who is there to fight for us? Who are the people that are f there to fight for the Yoruba people right now? You know, it is just God can, that can help us. And uh, this person said that when three friends decides to go their separate way, don't you think that all 
all is not well with their relationship, there must be some, something wrong somewhere that is eating them up in their mind. Memory is a sweet and wonderful thing if you don't have to deal with the past. He said, I am happy now that your eyes have opened. Glory be to God. Please, Yoruba, do not allow anyone to bring division among you. Please have one voice in order to achieve your goal. Almighty God will help you. That is just the things that Yoruba is supposed to be praying for right now because uh, the the issue of being in one accord is 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 absent in Yoruba land. Let me put it like that. You know, by the time they said they want to come together as they want to work together as one, that is where you see some people going against their wish. You know, that is just the only thing that is that I'm being scared about Yoruba people. In terms of unity, you know, I believe that God will help the Yoruba people. I believe that it's God will keep helping them, you know. So, guys, what do you think? What is your own take about this news? Your comment is highly appreciated. Kindly drop your comments at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, I want to say a big thank you to every one of you who say God bless you for subscribing. God bless you. We really appreciate you. We love your comments. We appreciate your comments at all time. Thank you so much. Bye.